Marketers today are making an absolute fortune off direct mail. Despite all the hype around AI, TikTok, and other flashy technologies, good old fashioned snail mail is raking in millions of dollars almost overnight. There's this company called Insights. They generated $1.2 million in sales pipeline in just nine months with a 1900% return on investment. Yes, that's right, 1,900% return on investment in just nine months. There's this other company called OpenRise. They generated $17 million in pipeline in just six months. And all of that came from a direct mail campaign. In a moment, I'm gonna tell you exactly how these direct mail campaigns work, but first, a little backstory. Now, once upon a time, the kings of marketing were these direct marketing gurus who were getting rich off direct mail. So all the marketers started copying what they were doing. And then what happened was all these customers mailboxes started getting filled with all of this junk. So what happened was direct mail didn't really work anymore because there was just so bloody much of it. But then this thing called the internet came around and all the marketers flocked from direct mail to email to PPC to things like that. And guess what? Basically the same thing happened. Only this time, it was people's digital mailboxes that were getting flooded and not their physical mailboxes. So the key to getting noticed is doing the exact opposite of what other people are doing. So when everybody was doing direct mail, it made sense to do email. But today, because everybody's doing email and PPC, we're reaching the point where it makes absolute sense to go back to direct mail. So what you wanna do is send physical mail because it's gonna get noticed. But something like a little postcard doesn't always work that well. It's gonna get thrown in the trash. Uh, somebody's secretary might throw it out. It's not really gonna embed itself in people's memory and get noticed. What you wanna do in most cases is send something big. Now something big in the mail doesn't necessarily mean something expensive. It means physically big, something like a big 3D box. So what these marketers are doing with some of the campaigns that I talked about earlier with the millions of dollars is they're stuffing these big boxes with gifts. So things like candy or a free mug doesn't need to be something that expensive. In some cases, they're even offering to pay the customer money to take a sales call. Maybe that's with a gift card, maybe it's just with a PayPal transfer, something like that. And what these physical boxes are is they're like a Trojan horse and you're sneaking something into that Trojan horse and that's a one sheet description of your product which has a URL to get more details and potentially to book a sales meeting. So the first big opportunity that we see with marketing in 2023 is doing direct mail, good old fashioned direct mail. The second big opportunity that I see is brand advertising. Now, remember those direct mail marketing kings that I talked about earlier? Well, they succeeded in convincing generations of marketers that the only way to succeed with marketing was with something that we call direct response marketing. But it's actually not true. You can build an empire using another approach called brand marketing. Now, brand marketing has sort of a bad name these days, but it's very, very effective. And we see that with companies like Airbnb. So what Airbnb did was they started slashing all their performance marketing budgets. So things like PPC ads, and they moved everything towards brand marketing essentially. So by dropping those PPC types of ads, they're able to put more money into things like TV promotions for things like the Olympics, things that get broadcasted to a lot of people. Now, one of the reasons marketers stay away from brand marketing is because they think it's expensive. So when you're looking at like TV sponsorships for the Olympics, absolutely. But it's really not that expensive. I alone run ads that reach millions of people on Facebook, these awareness ads, and I'm doing them with budgets of $5, $3 per day. It's really pathetic, but has huge impact. Now, with some platforms like LinkedIn, you may be required to spend at least $10 per day, but still, that's not a lot when you think about it. It's incredibly easy to execute these campaigns today because you don't need to do things like TV advertising. You don't need a million dollar budget. You just type in who your target audience is and tell the advertising platform, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, whatever, to optimize for reach, to reach as many people as possible. Now, the second reason people don't really spend much time on brand marketing is because they think all advertising needs to be measured in terms of immediate return on investment. I've never really understood this because 
Marketers will spend thousands of dollars on blog posts without measuring the return on investment of those blog posts or videos or whatever. But for some reason, when they start spending money on advertising, they're obsessed with getting an immediate return on investment. But you see, it's not that brand marketing isn't profitable, that it doesn't have a higher ROI. It's just that it takes time. And the impact that you get from brand marketing is much, much bigger than anything you could possibly get with direct marketing. Because with direct marketing, you're hyper-focused on tiny groups of people that are gonna be very, very responsive. So to learn more about these and other marketing tips, you can follow me on udemy.com. My name is Decker Fraser. Good luck.